Another big hand for Sam Galindo. That's great. <clears throat> you know, if you, if, you, if you know, we do a lot of uh, comedy shows all over Wrocław and all over Poland at this point, and the thing he reminded me of is how I remember one show at Malacharnia, and it was like a packed house, like 100 people, and, and, and I'm on stage, and I'm killing it. Everybody is laughing. It's like this loud laugh. And there was one woman here, and the whole time she's just like, arm crossed, like, not laughing. And even though it was a great show, all I remember that about that night is that woman <laughs> staring at me, not enjoying herself. 99% of the room, everyone's great, but that one, and all I remember is her. It's like, what is her problem? I, so I might do my joke, but in my head I'm like, what's her problem? Should I say something? Did her mom just die? Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Uh, so that's just stuff. Uh, I'll help you wake up here. I'll just tell you another uh, quick, quick little story here. Uh, one of my problems and one of my my lifelong ambitions is to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I I've never I never been that guy. And I'm one of those people that when I try to be cool, something inevitably happens that completely cancels it out. You know and. And I'll give you a quick story that a part of my life back in the States, I was in charge of pharmacy compliance, which meant that I went around pharmacies in 13 different states. I was in charge of 13 states, driving around and flying all over the place, auditing and investigating pharmacies. And I'd, I'd come in with suits and be all official. And even though inside I'm thinking, I'm just a kid. You know, but I'm, I'm here too, showing him my little badge <laughs> and stuff. And anyway, if I'm in a suit, which is, again, very rare for me, unless I'm at weddings. And, uh, and, and so I was in New Jersey, and their records, their old records were up in this attic, like on the third floor, and it was this ladder, this insanely high ladder, and I had to climb up this ladder to get the records. And when I was done, I had to come back down, but in my head, as I step on the ladder, I'm thinking... You know what's cool? In movies, cool people, they don't climb down the ladder. They just kind of slide <laughs> down the ladder, you know? And this is a high ladder. You don't get this kind of opportunity much in life to do this kind of thing. So I thought, I should try that. I'm all cool with my suit on and stuff. So I start, and I'm just kind of sliding down. And it seemed like a really long time, just sliding, going down. I remember this other thing about trying to be cool is that I'm I, back when I was dating, my my superpower, because I sucked at everything. The one thing I was good at is I could the mothers of the girls I was dating always loved me. I could get parents to love me, particularly mothers, and it was just, I don't know, I just didn't do much, but I was always very polite and very nice, but mothers loved me, and I did this one girl, Christy, and I'll never forget, her mother hated me. <laughs> and it, it's just like that woman at that, comment, at that show, it just killed me. And for the very first moment, I, I went and I went to her house for dinner, and Christy wanted me to meet her. I'm like, hi, and I, she opened the door. I'm like, hi, Mrs. Cunningham, it's so nice to meet you. And she's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> just like that. And from the very first moment, it was just terrible. And so I'll never forget, she had a, a cat, and I'm not a cat person, but she had a cat, and I, and, but I do like animals. I thought, well, I will, you know, I'll, I'll be with the cat. I'll hang out with the cat, and she'll see that I'm a good person. Because, you know, I'm good with the cat. And so I'm, I'm on the floor, and Christy's talking to her mom, you know, and, and I'm playing with the cat, and she has the cat all these toys, and I took the toy, and I'm throwing at the cat, you know? And, it's, and of course, we're bouncing off the cat's face, you know, so cute, you know? I'm just throwing, I'm like, oh, you know, cat. And finally, the mom wife her, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm playing with your cat, Mr. Cunningham. I'm playing with your cat. And she goes, the cat's blind. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't work out <clears throat> and I won't tell you the second part where I walked in on her naked but that was a completely different thing 
But I found out later, uh, we, we, Christy and I broke up, and, and I bumped into her, and I asked her, like, what was the deal with your mom? Why does she hate me so much? And she goes, All right, I'll tell you. I told her that you had nipple ranks. And it's true, I had nipple ranks. And I'm like, and that was it. She goes, yeah, she goes, she didn't think that someone with nipple ranks could be a good person. And she, that's why she hated you. I'm like, that's it? And I'm like, okay, I can do with that. I can't control that, you know? Fine. So anyways, I'm going down this ladder in New Jersey, and I'm sliding. Now, you have to understand, the mathematical impossibility of what I'm about to tell you, and I must warn you, some people have passed out when I told this story. When you watch Star Wars, Luke Skywalker makes that one in a million shot, you know, blows up the Death Star. JFK, that one in a million magic bullet. The one in a million chance that there would be a hook on this ladder and that as I slide down that hook goes into my shirt latches on to the nipple ring and then when my two feet touch the ground I am I have one less nipple ring on my body anyway I just wanted to share that <laughs> <laughs> I had to keep the, the, the pharmacist there and he's like are you okay I'm like yeah 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 I'm cool I, I was too embarrassed I was too embarrassed to say anything and, and there's this like red like circle forming on my shirt like like half my body was running a marathon you know and it was awful not cool not cool at all so anyways I'll tell you what is cool a couple of things, by the way, I forgot to mention, you know, this probably would have been an incentive if I would have told you earlier, but I told this on the website. All people who come up here, who take the challenge to come up here, uh, whether you do it now after this or whether you do it before, uh, will get one uh, free ticket to a uh, Not Safe for Wrocław show, um, which, uh, not like this, where this is obviously free, uh, but uh, usually they're comedy shows that I organize. Now, the last show I gave tickets to people some people use those at worldwide comedy shows. Um, they were very nice enough to accept it, but please keep in mind they won't do that in the future. It is only for not safe for Wrocław show. And the next one is going to be uh, January the 8th at Pub Vendrufki, uh, which is uh, Monday, January 8th, uh, which is my big show, which I'll be going up doing an hour, and I'll have another comedian, uh, Simon Neal, who'll be opening for me, and it'll be a fantastic night of comedy, uh, where I'll tell even more embarrassing stories of, like I just told you. And the best part is my parents will be there, <laughs> so they will get to sit there and listen to me tell embarrassing stories. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So anyway... Uh, so it's January 8th. You can check that on uh, the website, and I'll, I'll post that on the uh, this page. But anyway, speaking of cool, we have the live person signing in. By the way, it's not too late. If you uh, want to sign in, talk to me when I get off the stage here. Uh, but this guy uh, contacted me and asked to go up. He is 